everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is going to be a little bit different i am completely redoing our daughter's playroom that's going to include deep cleaning organization and of course three diy projects for you so if you want to see the end results go ahead and wait until the end of this video hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from my channel hit the like button if you like this video and go ahead and comment down below your favorite diy project from today i can't wait to show you guys the big reveal and of course i will see you next time thank you all right y'all i'm gonna kick off today's video by showing you a before of my daughter's playroom it is extremely messy this is real life let's be real and i wanted to show you guys i start pulling out like the bigger items and then start off like with a clean slate so you'll see a lot of those items in my hallway and I'm thinking about moving these items to their other wall, but later on in the video you'll see that I probably changed my mind. So in addition to this, their closet is also extremely messy and completely needs to be deep cleaned. I do get into these areas at least once a month to do a deep clean, go through their clothes, get uh, donation bags ready, get toy donations ready, and you know, throw out what needs to be thrown out. So I do get in here once a month to do a deep clean, and then the girls are responsible for keeping it clean every day. So that's kind of how we work around here. So yeah, and I got these cool little baskets from the Dollar Tree. They were just so cute, I couldn't pass them up. I'm gonna keep their uh, little workbooks and coloring books in there to separate them from their other things and then I also got these little bins here I'm gonna put their shoes in there yeah so I just wanted to really show you guys what it looked like before nothing special I you know everybody's aesthetic is different but that's not really my thing is to keep up with an aesthetic I just want to make it a functional space for my kids a fun space for my kids and um, I'd like to show you guys what I have. So I keep the, their littler toys in these little toy cubicle organization things. <laughs> um, and then I have a separate area for their like Barbies and stuff. So try to keep things functional, yet still organized so they can find what they wanna play with and they're not like rummaging through a big old toy box. And then I have their little bookshelf. And then these are like their blocks and I usually keep those in their toy box and like rotate the bigger toys in and out because I find that they're starting to play with those more when I do that so they forget about it for a while and then I bring it out and so it helps them kind of play with their toys and not just put them away and forget about them. But yeah, so this is their toy room. Like I said, I have three DIYs that I've incorporated in my girls' room. To start off with, I'm going to show you how I made these cute cloud mirror bow hangers. So all of this material came from the Dollar Tree and they had um, these little cloud mirrors and they had all different shapes, but I went ahead and picked up the clouds. I think they had dinosaurs and whales, but super cute. And I went ahead and got this yarn from there as well. I had these colors on hand for a while, but they have gotten in so many different colors. So honestly, if I do another one, I'll probably switch up the colors, but I do love how this looked. And honestly, it looks good with and without the bows. And I'll show you guys the end reveal of what I did by hanging the bows up on it. Uh, but for now, let me show you how I made it. So to start off, I went ahead and opened the back of this mirror up. Super simple, it has these little prongs I just slid off and took off the backing to the mirror. So super simple. And you'll see in the inside of the mirror, there's another piece of cardboard that outlines the mirror and that really just holds the mirror in place. So I kept that in there as well. So there was really no waste from this project. And then you'll see I have two small popsicle sticks and what I did was I am going to glue the strings that I cut onto the popsicle sticks and you can really cut these any length that you like. Maybe later on if I do this again I will keep the strings longer or I can replace them just by popping the popsicle sticks out and you'll see how I do that. But in the meantime this is what I did. I just cut the yarn um, all to the similar length and I hot glued the yarn 
near each other and I did it in a pattern, you know, blue, pink, white. I made sure to go along the popsicle sticks with the hot glue and just make sure that they all stuck together. I just grabbed another popsicle stick to make sure that they were intact. And this actually only took a couple of minutes, so super simple.
All right, so once I have all of the yarn in contact with the popsicle sticks, I went ahead and attached it to the inside of the frame by hot gluing along the side of the popsicle stick and just pressing down on the inside of the frame. And these popsicle sticks fit really well inside the frame. Any bigger, we'd probably have some issues, but this worked out just fine. Once all of the yarn was glued inside of the frame, I went ahead and made sure to keep the cardboard lining in there just to ensure that it held the mirror and the backing intact. And then I went ahead and added the backing of the mirror back on. And you'll see my yarn is extremely long. I will be trimming that here in a moment. was put my frame up on a higher level and I combed the yarn and I went ahead and trimmed the bottom just to a length of my liking. After that I went ahead and flipped it over so I can create like a wall hang and all I did was uh, glue some excess yarn on the back of the frame but you can really use a wall hanging kit for this. This is just something I came up with and it, it held up just fine so it worked out for me at the end of the day. All I did was again just use some excess yarn, put it on the back of the frame and hot glued it down. Made sure to let it dry for a little bit before I went ahead and hung the mirror up. Alright, so once I added the yarn to the back of the mirror, I went ahead and let it dry and let it cure 
for a couple hours until I was able to hang it up. It didn't look beautiful on the back, but that's really not the point of this. Um, then I was able to hang all of my daughter's bows up. I will probably need to add another one as they have more bows than I expected, but it came out absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to show you what my next project is. I hope you liked this idea. I thought it was um, definitely functional for our home and it worked out great. Right for my next DIY, you'll see I made this little wall hang below the bowl holders. That was to hang up our girls' bags and uh, kind of like a coat hanger, just anything that I need to hang up. I found out they had a lot of backpacks and bags when we travel, so I needed something where I can store them and that they're able to access them easily. So I actually got this board from a family member. It had little file clips to add our child's art to it. However, a couple of those clips broke throughout the years and throughout my, our last move. So I went ahead and removed the clips from the board and I had these additional knobs from their dresser so what I'm going to do is just paint over this board white and I'm going to Gorilla Glue the knobs to this board and um, I could have screwed them in but I just felt like that was going to be a lot much more work and just something that wasn't necessary for this project and what I used for the paint was just the matte white paint that I had on hand it is acrylic you can really use any paint for this I, w I didn't sand it down it was already pretty um, weathered away matte, so I just went over it with a paintbrush and painted it white. I went ahead and let it dry overnight and then I went ahead and applied the knobs with a little bit of Gorilla Glue and I allowed them to dry overnight as well for a better set. Once that was done, I went ahead and hung it up on the wall. I didn't need to apply a hanging kit to the back of this board as it already had built in um, wall hangers so it was an easy project for me. All right, and here is the final result. I absolutely love how this project came out. I wanted to show you the project with the bags hung up all by themselves. I hope you love this project. I can't wait to share more with you. All right. So I have my little ones in here <laughs> and um, so what I'm going to do, be doing is this like wall, I'm going to be putting uh, dots that I cut out with my vinyl on my Cricut. Um, I picked out these colors and Hobby Lobby was having a 50% off sale on me so I got them for like a dollar a piece. Um, so it only came out to like six bucks um, or like eight bucks so it wasn't too bad. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is put them on that wall and then I'm going to move the little shelving system against that wall. And I'm going to try to alternate colors here and then see, hopefully I don't need more. Um, it's kind of looking a little sparse, so we'll see. Alright everybody, so I wrapped up their room, put up my DIY projects, and now I'm ready to show it to you. So let me know what you think down below. I think it came out absolutely amazing. I love the little touches my DIYs bring to the table, and the functionality of these DIYs as well. So I hope you like it, and let me know what you think.